Here we go. Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Peace on Lieutenant Drakir at your service. The force has eaten and around. And welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which, well, we started early yesterday because, uh, well, we were done with Katana Zero in 20 minutes. So yeah, we'll be continuing with this today, so let's actually continue. Now let's see, 
the game is playing out as a bit of an Ace Attorney-like game. With uh, a, a murder mystery that may or may not be par partially true. Uh, we found Sonic, quote-unquote, murdered in the dining car, which is two cars back. Uh, let me just take a look. That's the menu. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, the, we started over here in the dining car, where Sonic is, quote-unquote, dead. Then we moved over to the saloon car, where Knuckles is. And he, from what we can tell, he didn't leave. Though Vector came to visit him, along with Rouge, and for some reason Shadow has been going from the front of the train all the way back and locking doors behind him. Yeah. And yeah, Where Rouge was also here? there. And yeah. Also, I noticed something about. Uh, what's the name of the chameleon again? SPO? Yeah, like. The other one. Oh, very well drawn. Is you? that whoever he was in charge of giving issue his uh, coloring? What a bit sloppy with his horn. You mean uh, like there's no thicker line separating the oh, horn there or something? It's more noticeable when you talk to him and he's uh, have another avatar form, but you see the coloring has slided outside his horn a bit. Okay, we'll check that when we go interrogate him. For now, uh, yeah. let's just go look for some clues. Uh, Vector wasn't here for a big time, so Espio was left alone for a while, and he is a ninja, so he could have actually snuck out as well. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Oh, I really needed to see this. <laughs> What's with the dead eye stare constantly, Tails? I get the, I get the feeling that is really just that I get the feeling this anime this uh bit of art of him is like a reference to the Tails doll meme or something. Which is was a creepy pasta. He's a creepy pasta. <laughs> This little chow is hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Chow can fly, uh, though they can't when they are still infants, to my knowledge, or they can limit it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Is this Chow can stick to his principles and find strength than I can too? There's no way that <laughs> there was no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Okay. Well I think there was sort of the point he wanted to give you. He had there maybe a bit way more layers to it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Then yeah, look at this. There's a couple of map there's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are, are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Yeah, these are also common and useful in the Ace Attorney games. Hmm. We may actually pick those up sometime. I I have seen... I'm pretty sure all of them played through, but there are quite a, quite a lot of them, so I will clearly have forgotten details. I have seen most of them. Don't... I don't know if I've seen all of them. I don't think I've seen the, the one with the newer characters, though. I think I've seen a bit, but then I got distracted by something else. It's, I think Dual Destinies was a recent one or something, or the most recent one. There's a new... There's a an, <clears throat> an Ace Attorney-like game that came out recently, which is set in a magical world. Heavily inspired, but not of the same creators, I think. Actually, I, I have to double-check that. Yeah, that one sounds interesting. Yeah, we could give that a look. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. As <laughs> Link does. He has to find a lot of stuff in those constantly. Hey, let's check the door. Shadow supposedly walks through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? 
Yeah, I do believe we should. Okay, Shadows Lock, edits their inventory. Uh, let's see. What is with these books? So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I certainly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by a the train speeding up. And, okay, I can see it now. Yeah, it's a bit out of the line. It looks like it's glowing. Yeah, now you see what I meant. Uh... Uh, so as, you know, are you supposed to have five fingers, or...? I'll have to double-check that. Typically, anthropomorphic characters are given four fingers. Hmm, I haven't actually been checking that with other characters. Let's see. But Rouge put, uh, pulled a lot of these out to searching for something. Okay. What was our resident thief looking for them? But reckless behavior. I feel, for, yeah, I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. A uh, table? Ah, uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush, puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Edia, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? I've had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. I'd have two rings, but it would still be strange that it happened twice. Let's see who gets the joke there. <laughs> Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Are you, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No. No, I'm alright. I'm sure... I'm sure there'd be something hidden in the max trash bin we find. Really think so? Uh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins hide the secret, I'm sure of it. <laughs> and you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> what? I think we can agree that it has... In many games, you, you should all able to find something in trash bins, even if you just find trash. Yeah. But I'm guessing the train, uh... Cleans them out every time anything gets put into them. That might actually be a plot point. Yeah, or they got cleaned out from the whole uh, speeding, speeding part. Yeah. A globe of our marvelous planets. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Yeah, sounds perfect for the for vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. If I've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. I knew it! Uh, and you misread something that you very bad grammar. Uh, what? You said I instead of you. <laughs> but yeah, Professor Pickle is a character that also uh, that appeared in a... Uh, Sonic Unleashed, so yeah, I had it right with uh, Spagonia being from there. And... Uh, hmm. Does that mean that human characters are canon to Mobia again? Because Mobia is what uh, the planet in the Sonic games is typically called. Let's see. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. And keep that in mind, thanks. And hello there, Marco. You doing well? This group's no... Everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? <laughs> Let's see, anything over... Oh, yes. <laughs> That's Professor Pickle. <laughs> what is it with this game and references to <laughs> Sonic Unleashed? <laughs> oh, 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 you're in the hospital? Uh, for yourself or for someone else? Uh, best wishes all the same to whoever it may be. Yeah, I hope it's nothing serious. Yeah. Oh, you're right there. Why is this one specifically? That, yeah, that's Professor Pickle up there. It only shows half of him, but that's him. Uh, let's just say he has a very distinct look. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. 
Hmm? Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. In this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in an alphabet alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual? Okay. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Okay, add this inventory. Okay. Okay, you are... Okay, I'm guessing it's not too bad, Marco, since you're using your phone, I'm presuming. Uh, break any bones or something? Or did you get kicked by something? Let's see, I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate to find out what really happened. First off, let's check this. What is this? What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Ackman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What? What? What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. <laughs> you may not be wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dr. Eggman is technically just a nickname, not his actual name. But it would be utterly hilarious if he's a master cook with eggs. Ugh. <laughs> uh. My guess is that bedeviled eggs are his specialty. Because he's a uh, jackass. Hmm? Jack is in her specialty. Yeah, but <laughs> His specialty, but... Seems I'm right getting tongue-tied a lot today. Well, you had worse days. Yeah. Now, let's really check have, with the train. I really had the one episode I had to correct you a lot. Let's see. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. It's also up here for some reason. Uh, oh. Really? <laughs> Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Book of the Month, Gone Gal. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, has replied? Let's see, my brother and I got into a fight, and during the fight I had one of my faints that happen every now and then. And while I was fainting, he punched my stomach real hard and somehow caused me to have no air in my lungs for some time. And I went to the hospital to see if everything is fine. Okay, so... Uh, possibly... Moderately serious, I'm presuming, but... Mm hmm. Holy... But yeah, be better to be saved than sorry, especially if you already have a precon... Uh, pre-existing condition like that. Yeah. I, I hope for the best with that, Marco. Yeah. Okay, um... Let's start with Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? No. I may be a butcher, but I confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Really? You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup state apron, not a butcher. Uh, I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Yeah, and now we have a confirm. It is ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Though we could have guessed that. It, they would never show actual blood in a Sonic game like this. Now I'm trying to think back if there ever was a game where he was where blood was shown in the Sonic games. I think it might have had a, a quick appearance in some of the shows, but I don't think in the games, at least. Let's see, can I take your order? Oh, yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the modem. <laughs> Why would you show the menu to me? Come on. <laughs> Why would you tease him like that? Here I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. <laughs> Let's smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I smooth things over, but what at what cost? Uh, okay, let's see. Yep. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. 
Ilya and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if SPO really was reading in the library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy, I got bored. <laughs> but... I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I'd figure I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Hmm? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? <laughs> what kind of things do you think I read? I very much doubt this place has an erotic aisle. <laughs> if you won't talk, I have a hunch of, you know, on what that book might be. Could you help me, help me out? Yeah. Alright, what book do we think Espio may have been reading? Well, we only have one available at the moment, so I'm going to take a quick peek here. Uh, okay, we are about here, I'm guessing, then? Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only game we have, the only book we have on us at the moment. I, I thought it'd give more of a descriptor of what was where and such, but oh well. The Mirage Express Manual, an exhaustive manual of the Mirage Express's many features and capabilities. It doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. <laughs> a manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Okay, here we go. Oh, now there's four lanes. Uh, the, uh, what? When you do this, I just gonna go and grab my ice cream. Oh, that's why there's now more lanes, because now they're going to start shooting stuff at us. And I just realized something. Hmm? If Rogue is a werewolf, will stabbing him with a silvery ice cream cone wrapper kill him? <laughs> It might give him the chills, <laughs> but I doubt it'd kill him. <laughs> Let's see. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. I'll accept this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. <laughs> Nervous, Espio. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, <laughs> we'll have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Yeah, apologies, Espio. Yeah, Vector can get a little bit hot-headed when it comes to his pals. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Rod's Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Alien, if you don't mind. Uh, could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page would I quiz him on? Uh, let's just go... That? Hmm. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. Okay, so I might I might actually be on point with the arms cleaning out the trash every time. <laughs> I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. 
Seems like SPO aced that question, Lynn. Hit him. Hit him with another one. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Two, three, one. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. <laughs> Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> The last one. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. Got this page. Uh, 16. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general tra train applications? I get the feeling each of these will, each of the choices would lead to the same question. An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Okay, so that's why he needs to be up front. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Totally. It's well that we were able to retain all this information so quickly. The poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'll be bragging about that. <laughs> I've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my body like that. Don't we want to be supporting folk who read? We have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a little bit suspicious, even if true. They answer all my questions so calmly. It's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Like there was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. We definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. Because Rouge and <laughs> Shadow passed through here. He always puts me on the spot. Okay, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. What? Yep. We don't have the drinks anymore, but we do have the lock. The lock that supposedly Shadow has been placing on multiple doors on the train. Shadow's lock? Please, play, pray tell. What this has to do with anything? We're up. Let's get our argument together. And now it's 50 rings. Okay. I don't get this new game, so I don't... I think, I think it's in part here for people who just really want to have some uh, accurate Sonic gameplay. I guess just keep this kind of out of place. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, are these attacks here just because we're dealing with Espio? Espio, <laughs> why the fuck are you chucking shuriken at us as we're trying to think? Shadow walked through the, uh, through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Rocks are natural gamers. <laughs> SPO said... <clears throat> SPO said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. You didn't see Shadow come by. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to lock up? Well, I... You see, you're being awfully suspicious, Espio. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Sonic locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Hillian. 
one that I would love for SPO to solve. You gotta believe me. School demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. <laughs> I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SPO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't, I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Um, let's defend Espio. We have to make sure our guests are taken care of. We have to speak up. Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associates, lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. Uh, let's see. Overhead map. Let's see, if he was reading in here, his sight would have yeah. been blocked off. And, yeah, with these other ones, his sight would have been outward as well. Alright, now uh, let's get my th thoughts in order. Yep, here we go again. Now it's 55. Oh, big gods. Okay. Okay, there's something I've been wondering about Sonic. Yeah. Like, here's a hedgehog. Ah, yeah, oh, damn it. And all like a hedgehog is very speedy. Yep, that's his whole stick. However, again, he's a hedgehog. And what are hedgehogs known for? <laughs> uh, getting run over for <laughs> being not that smart or fast. Spikes, alien spikes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello there in chat, Sonic the Hedgehog 1991. <laughs> what the? Uh, so you're haunting the chat here? <laughs> I'd ask how you are, but apparently you're dead. And yet still somehow able to use a keyboard. <laughs> the library map? Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way SPO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Uh, he could have been here. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for me losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis, validated. Okay. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. <laughs> Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. No? It seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue yeah, that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the words. We're getting sick of that in that line now, Vector. Uh, I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A, a murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes to clock while our heroes are in the caboose. <laughs> okay. At this point I'm really pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Helen, let's see what's next. 
Coming. But okay, uh, I noticed something about SPO. Yeah. I think he might be, at least in the English translation, might be a kind of reference to Ninja Turtles. How so? Both are Ninjas, both are named, have Italian names. Hmm, bit of a weak and connection, but maybe. Both are, are they also reptiles. So it's a very subtle. It, 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 the third point, it could just be coincidence, but it also, it also feels like it could also be a hint. Yeah, it could just be coincidence. Let's see, you sure you don't want to stay and look at the, all the great books a little longer? Uh, the mystery calls. <laughs> okay, the investigation continues. <laughs> Hello. Uh, should the car really be gambling? It's 33 years old, so presumably it's old enough to gamble. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Cruz, there you are. We have a lot, of, yeah, a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Yep, welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. <laughs> now, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Hmm? Tell him, Rose. Gonna need the help. Please? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Uh, it, it was said that there, she found something in the brochures that made her... Uh, pipe up, I'll say. Let's see. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. I can't tell if this is part uh, is a, if this is supposed to be part of her character or, or if she just really wants to steal an actual treasure. <laughs> tell them what it is, Rouge. Like I said last time, she's a bit of a kleptomaniac. <laughs> no, she steals more for the. Hmm. Would it be more... F I don't actually know if it is partially just for the loot itself or for the money, because I don't think I've actually seen her sell any of her fans in here for stuff. Let's see. All right, well... It's a Farward Shade's Chow Egg. Okay. Of course it is. Wow, that sounds extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Rouge. Why, why, why is she blushing? <laughs> uh, she wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched car train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé Chow Egg is here, in this train car, locked in, a, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? Oh, Marco is back with results. Okay. Good, bad, neutral. <laughs> and what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, wh why don't you both take a look? Oh, a blueprint. 2341. Mm -hmm. I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. It, it can't be that easy. Train's blueprints? Please, Roos, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finest keeper, sweetheart. <laughs> There's a problem. We need your assistance. Yeah, Blaze is so not into this. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I have a lot of cracks on my bones from how many times my brother has punched. Most of them are on my legs and head. Wait, from that fight? Or from just... Oh across your lifetime or something, because that's... If the bones are cracked, that sounds a bit more than roughhousing. That sounds like outright uh, abuse. Yeah, that is concerning. Uh, what kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Faberge Chow Egg. 
but we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access cards. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success rose with everyone's help. Wait, there's a second floor to this train? So you want us to help steal the Faber J. Uh, Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. <laughs> okay, she's just staying in character. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. <laughs> Good point as well. Uh, let's see. Marco from overall, and they are not broken. Okay. That might still become an issue later in life, though, if your bones are damaged like that. That could add up, like metal fatigue in, well, metal. Let's see. Do you have an opinion on this? Uh, it's time for a five-finger discount. Ceiling is for squares. Uh, I guess we are contractually obligated to say this. Or... Mm. I think the only square is he here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit that it wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation is crumbling. Uh, all right, all right, I'm in. I'll help. Oi. <laughs> well, I suppose if both Blaze and Hillian are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow Egg. It wouldn't be a, a detective thing if a detective wasn't forced to uh, do a, some shady stuff to get their answers. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to see you. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Now, the Chow doesn't really have pockets to pick. Uh, where did you what? pull this from? <laughs> where did you pull this from, <laughs> Rose? Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? And that—that's an emblem. That's the symbol used for uh, sort of achievements in some of the games, like the adventure games. Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access cards. Do we... Uh, attack the guard, bribe, distract the guard? Probably best. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. It's actually a really nice thing to say. Is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Did you just avoid seeing your own name there? Yeah, I don't want to wear it out too much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. Yeah. Uh, Blaze can often be seen as being rude, but she's just a bit blunt. I'm gonna be in a casino. My poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guards? Um, Roach. She yeah. definitely has the... Um, Assets for distraction. Play. Also, I have seen clips of her. Just out of curiosity, and I know the one that's the most blunt and fake-headed of all is Nokos. Was unable to pick up that she was Youngfully flirted with him, and he did not get it at all. He just flew over his head. Yeah. <laughs> so, See. she has the charms. Of course I'll distract him. Who could resist my feminine charms? <laughs> I'm not sure how effective your charms will be in a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Okay, so it's not a... We just need to answer the question again. Uh, Blaze can be a distraction, perhaps. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let <laughs> I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. <laughs> Great. The words were so stoic. I have chills. Yeah, for someone with uh, a name like Blaze, she can be pretty cold. But I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> Ask the parent about their partner and kids. Don't think that is going to work. Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in the casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. <laughs> With the guard distracted, Rouge, how you will you get their access cards? Uh, pick their pocket, uh, of course. Uh, now I can see why she is not the distraction. Due to her big skin is the right. She could do both. Yeah. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That showering uniform won't notice a thing. Oh, that drawing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. And that heart is more there because she typically wears a uniform with a heart up on the front. Try not to take anything else from them if you can't help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. And then what's your plan? Uh, pretend you're bla say there's a drink without a coaster. <laughs> Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Uh, despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Wait, what did you pick? That that there's a drink with no coaster underneath it. Because yeah, if you put down a glass on something without a coaster underneath it, uh, it can leave stains and such. I actually started to use a few coasters. Recently, due to avoid that for the first time. <laughs> so, in, apparently, by uh, everyone's opinion here, you're vile. Uh, here's the thing my table behind me is not wood. No. Oh. It's uh, plastic. The same thing you put on walls in like a bathroom and such. Tiled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the, the table is... It's a wooden frame with a tile thing. <laughs> that might be the first thing I, first time I've heard something like that. Oh, we had a two-stone <laughs> table when I was younger, which we replaced for obvious reasons. It was a pain to move! When you want to clean? <laughs> Let's see. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll make it in, in the elevator. Inside we... Yep, so let's probably dance, pop some apple cider, sing... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a proper victory. I should have lost why I the user for my two computer. My old computer did not have the effect when I had glass on it. It didn't leave circles. But on this table, it does. Hence, I use the coasters. Okay. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? <laughs> the dead drawing. Wait. Uh, they would attack this. <laughs> How do you know this? I think she might have already tried. Or she is just guessing. Let's see, have Tails to say with him, tied him in a big knot? <laughs> uh, it's, my shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? <laughs> Rouge doesn't know how to tie a knot. What? What? So what? I don't. Know, I barely know myself. Uh, yes. Well, no. Do none of you use shoes? Yeah, I, actually, I'm pretty sure I, we, we've never seen any of them with shoes that aren't with uh, flex tape. I believe it's called. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. <laughs> Get someone in and want to hear my song. Okay, let have Tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to the next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh... I can hope they sympathize. <laughs> Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Though I think we have been... I think we have been uh, doing this in broad sight of the guard, so I don't think they've been too impressed. That and also... I mean, said we did not to check what the response will be when you high-five all the hands. <laughs> uh, if everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up in that elevator. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. <clears throat> Pardon? And it was executed through perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real price. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Faber J. Chow egg. <laughs> it's a trope I have not seen in ages, but it was an actual common trope in these things in Hollis. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweethearts. Let's see. 230401. That is probably a reference that's... Oh, I see already. Flip it around. Oh, four. April 1st. Of the 23rd year. <laughs> the release date of this game. Oh, wow. It's here. Uh, I have it. Look at that face. <laughs> All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Yeah, I th I think Rouge just Rouge is a club to many as I said most of, a lot of the times. Uh, mostly for actually valuable things, not like she'll steal candy from a baby or something. Uh, but I think it is actually that she's just free. She really, really, really likes shinies and valuables. It's, and so also yeah, I, real, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I don't think she typically spends her stuff. She probably has a hoard somewhere. Hoards. <laughs> no further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secrets. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. It's a bomb. Why do we get the feeling it's an egg timer? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was just, I just thought about egg timer after uh, making my joke. <laughs> that, that sounds, that, that, it, it progresses automatically. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Anxious music. <laughs> and that picture of Blaze. <laughs> uh, <laughs> adorable. <laughs> more adorable. Uh-oh. Bruce, has no one lived to tell the t egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb. I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of an egg. Now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? What? Some Close days you just vault. can't get rid of a bomb. Close the vault. <laughs> Twist the egg again, eat the egg, throw it, and lock it in the safe, toss the egg in the elevator, take one for the team, open it up to see if, if there's wires to cut, smash the egg against the wall, have Blaze set the egg on fire, the tail school it down with his tails, stomp on the egg, rock the egg to sleep, grab Bruce, kick the egg, chaos control the egg away, flip the egg upside down, tell the eggs to stop, let it finish the king, sing with it, sew it back in. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Okay, fine, it's going back in. Tails to save won't lock this door, staying open. What? I'm supposed to go and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh, twist the egg again? Great idea. Uh, I don't think that's even reset the timer. Uh, game. Game. I hope it hasn't gotten this itself stuck. To do this? Yep. 
Stop, stop, that's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Okay, she was just twisting it again. Uh, open it up to see? <laughs> what do you mean by this? No, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, Hillian, this is real life. Uh, he has a good point. Uh, flip the egg upside down? <laughs> What's flipping it gonna do? I don't know, try it. <laughs> they actually flip it. Nothing happy. <laughs> but then they flip it back over. Uh, <laughs> yes. Says you. That's the one. Was it a mistake you named kind of off yourself here? <laughs> All right, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Uh, yeah. yeah, give it to me. Get as far away from me as possible. As far me as I am a hero. <laughs> no, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they <laughs> want, we are to. Who are we to stop? The microphone kids obviously are going to sacrifice themselves. Uh, their body's far too strong to contain any sort of blast. <laughs> cold, cold blaze. True. Let's think of something else quick. Uh, Your pride feel hurts. <laughs> tell the egg to stop. Stop. The... What is that? Give me a second. Okay, there was some winding outside, and it looks like just uh, two dogs that got a bit rowdy with each other. Two small dogs. <sighs> that did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, let us finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. That's our goal. So let's not get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Really, <laughs> I think you're onto something. Uh -huh. What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have time any time. So it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Oh yeah. Uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can uh, perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. Can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. So, yeah, they, there couldn't be an explosive. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. The bomb was brought onto the train disguised as its Fabergé chow egg. The arms would have detected it and it would have been allowed on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. He surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. Completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Ian, look what's inside. Uh, <laughs> wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. Perfect, this exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is he drooling over a sparkly ornament? I think you're onto something, Helium. But I don't want it's cute, but it's not impressive. At least not to me, but it's shiny. <clears throat> Needed a drink for a second. <clears throat> Though I must admit, it is stunning. And it makes the sense. 
A jammed chow coming out of the chow egg. You said no one lived to tell the Faber J. Chow's egg secrets. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? <laughs> also a possibility. Um, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. And we missed inspe inspecting the wall, but oh well. That mustache. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend. <laughs> uh, hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend okay. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if that was exactly correct, Ram, but okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. But I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While well, I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise I'll to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. I'm pretty sure everyone else on this train is stronger than you, even this robotic arms. Well, we'll get out of your way if we're now then. We have a murder mystery to, to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so we can continue forward. There's a no investigation at all here? You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also had just as much suspicious. Uh, we, but we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Alien, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Here we. What are you up? <laughs> the capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. <clears throat> Pardon? I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. Wasn't there an AI something? I don't know. The conductor was ordering around it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. A very versatile. Still doesn't explain right. why they're gambling with. <laughs> here they are, it's a pawn. What? One on bandits. <laughs> The a one armed ro mission. <laughs> one robot arm is playing on a one armed bandit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's see. Tails, we must search the trash bin. It's empty. No? No? Did I hear no? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Thursday with the flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It was about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um, very sweet. But all that's in, in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? But there finally was something in there. <laughs> Just not anything useful. Yeah, I like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all there's, that's there. Is everything okay? You need to bring you a flower. Just leave me be. I have to say, Hilary, you all really living into your role. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, what's these doing here? That's what? Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us in Sonic. 
every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. So I'm not, uh, not too surprised to see this here. Hm? Hello there, Cookie. You doing well? Better than Marco, I'm guessing. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> is... <laughs> is Eggman the only licensed casino chip maker <laughs> on Mobius or something? Maybe I just realized something. Hmm? None of the drinks on the central tables have coasters. Yeah, they seem to have something underneath them, but there are none. There's none here. So which of you two has been behind that? My guess is Rouge. Let's see. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Mm, and let's move on. I respect your restraints. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Oh. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Uh, I've been for some of them. Uh, I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. <laughs> I mean, we simply don't have the time for this. We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. Let's see. Anything to say, Blaze? Pulling off that highest was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Uh, your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? Maybe begin the murder mystery. What did you do? Yeah, we never actually asked her about her alibi. Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé uh, chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car where we then went our separate ways. I scooped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Yeah, why is he giving keys to people if he's trying to lock people in? And apparently Cookie is moody? Okay, what's up then? It's interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see, you're 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. <laughs> that smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? <laughs> of course, can do. Yeah. Blaze and Cream are good friends. Rouge? Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do for you, darlings? Uh, your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Faber J. Chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. A bit strange that I have the blueprints on the train. Even then, in the library. Okay, the library is weird. You, want, you think you want that, uh, the blues in the main cart? Yeah, or the maintenance area for the train, which would not be on the train itself. Unless they have a repair station somewhere. Anyways. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? We still don't know how the hell he got from the front to the back. Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Ruse. You take care now. Likewise, right. darling. Do they only know Sonic was the one who got him murdered? Uh, apparently not. Hmm. Let's see. And she knew? Uh, no, I, I'm pretty sure we told them. Right. Oh. Okay, mm. might be a bit of a gap, maybe. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. <laughs> Leroy Hillskin. <laughs> 
That sounds a bit worse. <laughs> that was hot. Do you know what? I know exactly what we need here. Actually, no, I, I got something better. I got something better. <laughs> There we go. I even messed up the last half of it. It's Leroy Jenkins, so it should have it should have been Tails Jenkins. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, I hope you'll I'll hope you'll feel better soon, uh, Cookie. Let's see. Now is as good a time as any to clean up my pockets. Hmm? I know you oh, won't boy. talk, but I know exactly why uh, you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Since we finally caught up with Amy? <laughs> I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> okay. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also uh, like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. That face. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Hidden, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Hillian. <laughs> okay. Pretty nice place and big ass chandelier in the shape of the Master Emerald, which uh, Knuckles should be protecting, so. <laughs> then again, uh, the, the one typically going after the Master Emerald are Eggman and Rouge, and well, Rouge is here and Eggman is probably plotting somewhere, so <laughs> I guess it's safe for a bit. Could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaves out? I just think you should do it. <laughs> Come on, Tails. All right, all right, watch a pro. <laughs> all this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <laughs> Why is this thing so dusty? Uh, hello. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? What? It's gotta activate something. What the... The back of the wardrobe opens. There's a full passageway back there. How... How wide is this train as well? Like, we already had one car with an extra floor, and now we have one that's extra wide somehow? Is Come it on. Like a, is it like a TARDIS? Maybe. Come on, we have to see where this leads. It's curious. This must mean something big. Oh, he hello! This is the library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library! I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Okay, that's interesting. That or I'm guessing... I'm guessing that it's a passage in the outer hull or of the car. You know, that uh, there's like probably a meter of distance between these walls and the actual outer walls or something. Hmm. Perhaps. We need to add that to our inventory. Okay, someone could have snuck around through that. Let's see. Hey, it's the big chow band. Play as a diddy. Uh, give us a jam. Uh, apparently, they're not actually that good. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of this? Uh, it, it makes sense on the with the one on the piano. They can only reach like the middle keys. Uh. I 
how do I get out of this? Or do I need to let it play out? But, yep. They don't miss. Those... Uh, this show understand food. Uh, objection? <laughs> they understand music. Cookie wants food. <laughs> Let's see, Cookie, I'm in the mood for food. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I presume you'd have some snacks somewhere? <laughs> I can't really bring them. Let's see, there's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, I'm gonna give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... <laughs> give me a high five? It doesn't need to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Aww. Go sweet. And, yeah, now that I look a bit more, everyone has four... has five fingers. This is just typically not something you pay much attention to. Like, in older cartoons, you would probably see one finger less, like even in Simpsons. But how many artists who will try to do uh, five fingers? Unless there's a reason behind it. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Alright, so this actually does have a view in the... <clears throat> His windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. <laughs> Hello over there. And what Simba was reacting to? What's his name? The Big the Cat. Come again? Big the Cat. B.I.G. <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. the Cat. I don't know if you being rude to him or pulling my leg or being truthful. Now his name is actually Big the Cat, and I've already mentioned him before to you during the uh, the previous Showcase Sunday. Not the one earlier today, but last week. Uh, when we were showcasing Ion Fury. I said something about the villain in that game and his voice actor. That's what you meant? <clears throat> don't look away snobbly away from me. <laughs> Yeah, th there was something I said about the voice actor of that character, uh, oh, yeah. so John Say John, uh, who also did the voice of uh, of Duke Nukem, and are you telling me that's a Duke Nukem? <laughs> Big the Cat is voiced by the same <laughs> man as Duke Nukem. This feels so weird. He's a comic that then another cat he voice acted that everyone hates. Oh? Who also had a failed cartoon attempt. Bobsy? Yes, Bobsy. Bobsy, there was planned to have a Bobsy cartoon. Yeah, Bobsy the Bobcat. from it on YouTube. Let's see. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. <laughs> Despite the murder lingering in the air. <laughs> I just thought the same thing. Okay, so at least this side is just has a direct view out, though it could just be that the wall pushes out from the viewpoint here on the sides. Yeah. Also, I think those two had a moment uh, that you and me often have. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I can't bring you food and stream at the same time, Cookie. You might have to auto-cannibalize a bit since while well, you are Cookie. <laughs> hmm. Some keys. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a brunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Okay. We have a printer. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? <laughs> Sonic singing a song, Sonic rowing a boat. <laughs> right. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. 
spray won't let me stomp. Uh, it won't let it stomp me. Uh, Sonic, you might want to watch where you're going. Oh, he's ruined towards the other. No, he's ruined towards the shark. Yeah. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. How did you get this AI art generation? I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Anything on the computer? They told us about this in my interview. The lounge is a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How oh, lovely, seems convenient. Of course, it has the parental locks on, so uh, no looking up Sonic R34. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Should I be feeling called out for being on a computer instead of, uh, well... <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I have to admit, since it's an April's Fool's game, I have been slowly been waiting to see if they would dare to do a reference to the whole fan uh, comic commute and all that. Yeah, because Sonic fans can be a bit... Uh, intense and weird and no i can't send food with dhl i don't think they'd even uh, send that <laughs> cookie uh, tails let's just start with the whole rabbit hole of the um uh, road 34 no they also should i think we should check the trash bin every trash bin has been empty alien and you've been disappointed every time are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin <laughs> There's always something in the trash bin. <laughs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> oh, someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. What? Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Oh, okay, a band. <laughs> Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. <laughs> Let's see, I think we I found was... enough clues. I was worried Hot Honey was to be that... Rule 34 reference. I was worried so much for it. I'm so happy it was a band. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happens. Were you looking up... Were you late with getting a present, Shadow? Why did you come over? Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. It's there, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here. Actually, Alien, we, we certainly will not. Okay, start interrogating. Shadow, we have questions for you. Well, you three get out. I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Amy joining in? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Are you ready? Please. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Stonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Um, That doesn't explain how he ended up in the back, though. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Decent point, but just going back to front, locking the doors is suspicious all on its own. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? 
because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Uh, Amy, there's a problem with your logic here. And hello there, pizza lover. <laughs> Hello, Pizza Lover. Uh, can you do us a favor and use your pizza magic to sell my pizza to Cookie? She's very hungry. But yeah, we're doing well. And you yourself? Oh, yeah, we're doing quite well. <laughs> Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? More shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Annie. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Hilly and I can explain the car chains, however. And what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Uh, the hidden passage? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Here we go. These are slowly getting a little bit more tricky. Oh, now we've got... Okay, now we have Shadow attacking us with Chaos Blasts. Here we go, just need to not get hit. There we go. Okay, if there's one hidden passage, then there's likely more. Lily and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? S secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work. Hmm. This suggests my theory a bit. So, Sh Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, and then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious? Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. <laughs> Let's see, pizza, what? Uh, I'm good. I just beat the first three gyms in Pokemon Sword, including one of the hardest gyms in the game, in my opinion. Okay, which one of that would be? Would it, yeah, which which gym would that be, then? I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. Okay, who is your scoop, then, uh, Amy? If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Uh, do we have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Yeah, Espio was reading and not Vector was with Knuckles. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the reading table. At the table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. Was that Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Hello? Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. We know that Espio was back there by the end of it, and he hands read the entire damn manual. So he must have been there for a bit, but according to Shadow, he wasn't? Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would the locksmith be giving away his keys? Sitter has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. Yeah, that, that would explain why. Hmm. So... Either he somehow completely missed Espio... Or Espio wasn't there... Or he is lying to us. Let's see. Uh, pizza, it was the water-type gym. The gym leader, Nessa, with her dreadmo... Uh, 
her Dreadnought, which is basically a snapping turtle and her Dreadnought is so strong that in my first ever playthrough of the game her Dreadnought took out my entire team alone. But this time I managed to beat her whole team with a single Pokemon without any losses, that <laughs> being Pizza Boy. Okay, uh, coming around on him, him huh? This, the, don't mess with snapping turtles. Uh, coming around at the uh, on on you, coming around on your opinion on the crybaby sniper. Let's see, that's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing our key. Yeah, you've been using the master key the whole time to get around, Amy. Perhaps. Really, I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do that. Uh, what evidence do, uh, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? That would be the keychain or the key ring. That feels good. Now to get my <laughs> thoughts in order. And while you do this, I will refill my pint. Okay. Okay, I was kind of fearing that they would put mechanics on top of mechanics with this. But no, they are keeping it decently easy. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Hooky? Uh, you passed out? Are you really that hungry? Or are you sleepy? Uh, pizza lover. Yeah, and I have gained many more people on my team since the last time I was here. Okay. What other ones did you get then? Uh, yeah. Cookie, are you okay? Thanks. What the heck is going on? First, Marco is in the hospital. Cookie is passing out. And Pizza Boy. Pizza Boy being Pizza Boy. <laughs> pizza Boy is the only. Or all right, one here. Yes. What was that me and Helian? I think. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys in that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? Uh, there's his key. I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, the theory is strong. Tills and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think he and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? <laughs> First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Almost everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Yep. Just um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Alien? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me and Amy. <laughs> That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Um, Shadow couldn't find us because we were locked in the closet. Maybe. But Shadow knew Amy, you and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. It's a compelling argument, so maybe... Shadow wanted to keep us away. Yeah. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Hillian. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my li it's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare! <laughs> Show me evidence. Huh? Hello? 
If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Hail, hail. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away? Why? What evidence shows that Amy... Which, which evidence... What evidence shows what Amy didn't want... Uh, what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Uh, that has to be the crumpled paper, I think. Present the crumb... No, not crumpet. Crumblet. <laughs> uh, that feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Uh, let's see, before we do... Uh, da -da -da. Pizza, go, uh, pizza Boy the Drizzle, aka Cry Baby Water Sniper, now an emo kind of guy, is Sislipedes. Uh, he is yet to be named. Sly Cooper the Thief New, who is a fox based Pokemon with a mustache, which reminds me of Sly Cooper. Chikapu the Pikachu, Anna the Dreadmaw, Anna, Starnak the Gyarados. Okay, that's quite a team. The last two names uh, for the last two Pokemon are the names of two streamers I watch. This girl always just wants proof. Well, it is an Ace Attorney-ish uh, style game. So, oh, 65 now. So you always have to show some sort of evidence. And Shadow's not <laughs> Shadow's done playing around with these. God damn it. I do wonder, has Sonic ever used its spikes or something? Uh, technically, maybe when he spin dashes into something or homing attacks. I guess that his spines work sort of as an armor when he spins. Could be. You're rooting through the trash? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Yep. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't. Uh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B in after their name? Yeah, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be re you have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. Oh. So, yeah, Shadow was trying to get a ticket for her. So the question becomes: Why was this paper found in the train car that Shadow was stationed in? Or it's yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. Now, I don't know how Tails figure things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Grand's tickets website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. But what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. <laughs> uh. Shadow can come across as a jackass, but in the end, he generally means well as well. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How did... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. I spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Sorry. It's all a detective's job. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Ruining the surprise. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began locking all the doors. 
so for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. Yeah, he didn't notice because he was off to the side. This key opens up any door on the train. They got into every locked door with these. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. <laughs> I can't wait to show up a lifetime. Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Mm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. This wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Run! Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Then? Okay. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through the, to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Aiden, I'd hate to say this, but I believe her investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. I get the feeling it's Espio. <laughs> what was that noise? I guess we all get close to the end. I wonder to maybe have one more stream. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should read the chats. Uh, let's see. Pizza Lover. Does Shadow have a love interest? Uh, yeah. Maybe not love interest, but he and Rouge are often team members. And let's see. Or is he just a great friend? He... He would probably kick you across the street if you call him a great friend, but he would probably tolerate you calling him a friend. Oh, uh, by the way, you might ask... Go ahead. Ask and learn. We haven't chatted with you, actually. <laughs> Come on, to the conductor car. I wonder what we'll find there. Conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. Hope he's alright. Could it have been the conductor who did the murder? Like, at the moment, Espio is the only one who has had their... or a part of their alibi shattered. Ready to go to, go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Or was it Sonic who killed Sonic? Oh, oh we're actually at... Uh, hello. Conductor's car. Conductor car. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Yeah, where's the conductor? Yep, <laughs> exactly. And yeah, what... <laughs> Agreed, Marco. What was that sound Drakir made earlier? <laughs> it sounded like a bit of a something between a squeal and a squeak. Hmm. I think it was my surprise. Uh, uh, me doing a surprise sound, and the <laughs> microphone distorted it. Maybe. That's odd. I haven't seen him uh, throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we uh, when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. What Wait, what if the... What if the arms have been ripped off? Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he, he told me he is finally retiring. He said he's heading for Sp uh, Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. 
May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Uh, what has been happening here? This robot arm has been completely torn off. Did the conductor go off his rocker or something about having to retire? Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should lock this. Aye aye, sir. Hmm, let me check this. I'm not I keep pressing the wrong one. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I misread a bit. I thought there was another room between here and the actual front of the train, but no. Uh, we, we actually never went in here, I think, unless that is what the quote-unquote dining car's closet was. I think that's mm. uh, uh, what it was. I think we were trapped in there, but it cannot, has that shape. Could be. Let's see. Did this fall over when the train sped up? I'm trying to. I'm starting to get some suspicions here. Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, we get it. He loves his wife. Wife. Your yeah, weapon. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Should I say something? <laughs> If you can hear this, your armpit stinks. Beatbox. <laughs> Why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> They're oh, not impressed. Uh, just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. It was impressive. Thank you for sharing. I think the other two aren't too agreeable with that. Um, why is there one arm ripped out? And he Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto the tr this train? Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Seals is right. The weapon detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. On a passenger. <laughs> Marco, plot twist, you killed Sonic. I... I'm getting the suspicion that the, it's the conductor. Uh, it's very much seeming to look like it was the conductor because Sonic said he felt numb, so yeah, he could actually have been poisoned or drugged with a dart. Yeah, either conductor or Robotnik? I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Let's actually yeah, continue a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Cam. Hmm? We have to do a trash can. Yep. You know, I'm alright, so I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. Just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train? I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. And it's true, you could drive the train flawlessly. Ah, guys. Okay. Isn't it odd that we haven't seen a conductor since the dining car? I figure he's, he's had to drive the car and the, the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd. And we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> but, uh, that laugh. I just clicked on me. I've noticed these that screens throughout the entire clue, clue. Ain't it? Probably. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy a birth Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next out being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do you know, that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Okay. 
Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we name the suspects. What do you think, Alien? Ready to solve this case? Mm, yes. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Hmm. It was Pizza Boy, wasn't it? Like of everyone, SPO has the weakest. Uh, everyone of everyone, SPO has the weakest of the alibis, but the conductor is missing as well, and he's the only one who could have brought an actual weapon on board. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Helion. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? And she's thinking the same. Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. He's okay. Dead, I get the suspicion that he's going to be missing. Let me tell you, dear darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. Yeah, the Chaotix are uh, detectives. For hire. Private eyes, you could say. Oh, okay. Uh, for First, there were supposed to be minions of Eggman, or former mm. minions. Nah. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms, count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good, good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Okay. Amy shattering everyone's eardrums. And of course, Knuckles immediately jumps into a fighting stance. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Uh, uh, what just happened? Oh. <laughs> he, he's not responding to us. Sonic? Sonic! Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Send him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Yep. I knew one of you would take this too far. Uh, Amy? Uh-oh. Yeah, she gets... <laughs> She gets real protective of uh, Sonic at times. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask you again, uh, who <laughs> is one of you did this? <laughs> Holy that face. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. Yeah, so Sonic is basically his big brother. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Hidden, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, uh, wait, wait. I think the game wants to think it's NCU, but it's probably someone that's not one of them here. But the conductor is missing. He has yeah. Curious love. Uh, well, Ezio has the weakest alibi, but 
Hmm. Even Air said it was not airtight earlier. Yeah. It's it's SPO, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? No. I didn't know such thing, my young friends. But if it's a battle of which you is, wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library room reading. He only has access to the he only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Yeah, that's right. I mean, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car. To the lounge car. And Shadow was gone from there because he was walking through the other cars. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go. Talk about anger issues, escape room. What did Pizza Boy do? Let's see. Wait. You can say that the detective is the killer? Uh, we could have, but Tails was with us the whole time. He was locked in a closet, even. Uh, in the lounge, the hidden passage uh, exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but it would pit, put him in the car just before this one. We have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Alien and I can explain that too. Alien? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him speed reads. <laughs> Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I have known Espio a long time. He once sped re speed read uh, a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> Douche. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's not denying that he did. If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right, how would Espio even know have even known it was there? You should have yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. And then I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Uh, who? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden... Huh? Knew? Uh... I have no idea. We missed something, haven't we? I think... No. Wait. Oh, I wait. Said he was Shadow. Not there. Yeah, Shadow said he wasn't there. That that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we can see something later. And now's the time to take a look. Oh, oh Ru Rouge. Rouge has the blueprints. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, are you going to use it to scout for more treasures? Came up cold. You're gonna have it. Okay. Now, Shadow only had witness testimony, not full physical evidence. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden pass because it was in the library. Yeah. It makes you think I even saw those blueprints. Rouge had them. Well, Helen, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Bruce, where did you find the blueprints? Uh, uh, the library car? 
it was stuffed with the brochures, which is a very weird place for blueprints. I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get the Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. Logistics are still vague, but Healy and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Healy and I have evidence on how it was done. No, this is great. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? It would most likely have been this blow dart? Hmm. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus, you're close. What would Sonic do? Sonic would apparently just run and co go collect some rings. Thank you. Okay, I think that was there just to ensure that you had a much better chance at getting it actually. That was decently tough. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. <clears throat> I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Now, so you mean Sonic might just be un knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. That's, that doesn't explain the broken robot arm, though. Unless the robot arm attacked Sonic? Plausible, you say? And why are there so many holes in it? Do you deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me resent the first fatal flaw. If I knocked Sonic out in the conductor's car, and how was Sonic found in the dining car? Oh shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espo didn't have a key. He would have had to take uh, he would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Which is two cars short of the dining car. Lily and I know another way it could have been done. But we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? <coughs> uh, let's see. I don't actually know which one he's talking about. Uh, the cord on the erotic arm is completely sliced through. I hate with the idea of an axe causing this, but weapons aren't allowed on the train. That's right. Blueprint? Alright, now what's my argument? Uh, let's see. Uh, this really is Ace Attorney, but with Sonic. Technically, without Sonic Man, it's <laughs> dead. Uh, it's in the characters then. Much better. Well, technically, it's uh, just a blow dart. It could have been dipped in some kind of anesthetic. Like I said, maybe the train killed Sonic. Hmm. Getting closer, think. Okay, last one. 65 rings. Uh, of course, they're all gone already. Get it. Ah, damn it. Oof, let's give it another try. Okay. Okay, 84, more than plenty. Holy. And that's the stream timer, but I think we can finish this off. Alright, let's oh, yeah, take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get to Sonic, uh, to 
Yeah, did he take the get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Okay. I didn't actually see that, but... Mm -hmm. I didn't even see that area. Uh, Rose. Is that some kind of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there. And now he's going to swing. The vent, of course. It must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. So don't break it. Yep, he broke it. My word. <laughs> There's a path back here. And a track. A track? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fits with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you uh, realize we both couldn't fit up there. That's Pierce right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth did I get Sonic through that vent? Uh, by tearing... by making room by tearing out the arm. Phew, now to think about... Uh, come on! Okay, there can't be too many more of these. Sort of broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there is a track the robot arms use that continues throughout you know, through the vent. The robot arm that could you know, could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Oh, he could have gotten banged up from getting dragged through that. Could the fight have been Sonic and the robo robot arms? That could also have been... I can see that. Those arm do arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. But you have to admit there is a lot of coincidences. Yeah, why would the arms go after him? I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here re received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? A vector. It not what? Wait, Amy. Oh, scoop. yeah. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from, and someone's looking very nervous. Tailed, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Sonic was, was Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. Uh, <laughs> that face. Uh, no, of course not. Say he must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said uh, something's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight. There's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. Who wants to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were situated in the room with the hidden passage? Now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? But if he is the murderer, it's literally in his role to lie, Amy. Uh, I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. The controls are here. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow. 
for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. In examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. Yeah. Jacuz. It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, hello. <laughs> Someone's woken up. Uh, come on, game. So it looks like a line is missing from Espio's hand here. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Right. Uh... Espio jumped me in the conductor car. How did you get the weapon on board, Espio? Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Not great, like I could why. use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need. Everyone to listen. This train's a... The train's a bad, Nick? Okay. I was right. So Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we need to get... We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized... The train's powered by a flicky. Yeah, uh, that... Ed Eggman's... Ed Eggman's robots, Eggman's badniks, are always powered by animals. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friends. The train is his co-conductor. Sorry for not reading chat, by the way. You are not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Bad timing. But where did the conductor go then? The lights in the room started to glow red. Oh, that's where he went. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, slicing it off uh, the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do that in that this, uh, uh, any of this poisons. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but... I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. This all has been a trap by Robotnik. Everyone, I, I have something to admit. Right. Apparently, yeah. I have something I to admit. <laughs> I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. We have bigger fish to fry now, mm. Espio. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not you know, just tell us? I thought that's how <laughs> these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make believe game. <laughs> No one should get hit with a blow dart. Uh, Espio taking things too serious. I was just following the rules. Oh. Ah. Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the con uh, conductor car. It is laced with a non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Stop. No There's no. Lethal. Yeah. 
and staff as well there, yeah. Yeah, they're... The only staff are the conductor and us, and neither of us made this. So, this is made by a third party, which has to be Eggman. And also, the rules were that the, the, the rules were that the murderer could choose their target, not that they were told a target. What is that? It says, use this blow dart. Da, 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 da. Thank you again for choosing the right one. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotics arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Lynn, do you think... Uh, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow darts? The train itself? I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted uh, Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself is planning something. Yeah, it, 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 it grabbed the conductor, who is presumably still up in the vents. First we learned that the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the trail's full intent is, but clearly it's been tamper, uh, tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Oh, come out and show yourself. You're in the train. It's everywhere. Uh, Amy, it's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Uh, Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get this train's attention. The train's attention. What was that? What did you hit, Amy? Uh... Also, you could probably just pull out the flicky and just depower this thing. Uh, what did you two do? Uh, is that the conductor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Yeah, now it has a hostage. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you... Enough. Train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ah, ah, <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Whoa. No, no. <laughs> Can't keep my footing. Here we go again. <laughs> no, pizza, we're not going to suplex the train. We need to be outside for that anyways. Oh, we got her all the way to the back here? Yeah, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pocket. That one should we really not save this on extreme for now I'm sure how It it can't be that much sure. longer. Hmm. You know what? Can you look up how long this game is? Let me do a quick look. Uh, how long to beat? Go oh. time is alright, but this is the case where I feel about like we might uh, trick ourselves to think we were this close to the ending. Okay, main story two hours, main plus extra two and a half, completion is three, but that is without extra commentary, so I think we should be able to finish it. Hmm. Okay. Let's give it five more minutes for now. My head. Tails? Amy? Ah. Is, there, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, no need to yell, bud. Sonic, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hang in there. It seems the train's arm threw us back into the dining car. But where is everyone else? 
Great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Let's see. Place is locked up. My goodness, this door is daunting. The train's doing everything it can to keep us from the conductor car. Let me see if a spin dash can solve all our problems. Yeah, it'll take more than a you know, few hits to get through. Let's take it easy for now and keep looking around. There must be another way to open this door. Like a switch. Classic door opening mechanism. <laughs> what doors are you used to <laughs> using that require a switch? Yeah, heavy duty doors, typically. Let's see. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that train swipes us again. That arm swipes us again. As I should probably say this. I keep calling Igmar Robotic, for that's basically the name I've been ingrained with. Yeah. And, yeah, Marco, the, the train did it because, well, it's one of Eggman's robots, so of course it has a, <laughs> a hate on for Sonic and such. A oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. Never got to look at the pretty views. <laughs> he was saying the train's sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure this train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great. As I still don't know where my wallet is. Wait, did did the train steal your wallet? Uh, hello? Happy something? A yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing off the weather. Uh, and of course. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Uh, hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. We got some nerve showing up here, Eggheads. Oh, you spiky blue pests. Seems like you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger train trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just, <laughs> just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Long done. <laughs> the long play with Eggman on this one. Let me guess. Another death egg? Doctor Predictable? <laughs> the people fear giant spears. It's science. Uh, by the way, Disney uh, Disney keeps sending you cease and desist orders. <laughs> they want you to stop mimicking the <laughs> the, the Death Star. Let's uh... cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your prophetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I only now got caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. Uh, <laughs> you see, the, the capability of a Bagnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you prophetic creatures gets a generous reward. Train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? That is how AI are typically trained. There are 
given points, and they are taught that points are good, so they will try to get as many points as they can. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly, intelli highly intelligent train... It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can... You, you can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. Yeah, he has like three decades of practice with it. This is tough. The train has the motivation being made by Eggman. It's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Yeah. Am I at fault here? Okay. Let's take a look at the time here, Helian. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting unsure. But from what you just told me, I also do wonder whoever wrote that. How long it takes to beat? Mad. That might be. They might have. They likely rushed. Yeah, hmm. since it's not much gameplay. So they could just skip all these things. Yeah, let, let's call it after this bit of dialogue. I'll just have to keep something ready for next time. Because yeah, I get the feeling we're probably we were, going to go short. Yeah, just in case hmm. we were like five minutes away. So about, I'm not getting five minutes here. I get the feeling it might take another hour. Yeah. I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. This is a nice beat. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay? You gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. Doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? He'll take a look at the shots. Uh, uh, the game takes eight hours casually with all the bonus stuff? I, are you joking there, Marco? Uh, believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, let's speed through head-on and rescue our friends, by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oop. And I think he just went straight through the door. Oh. Or... Yep, he did. <laughs> Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spinners was fast enough to get the door open. Now that now that's the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants, so I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Actually, give me a second. I get it. Okay, yeah, let... This game yeah. is new, but... I still somewhat doubt that it would take that long, Marco. Yeah, do. I do suspect Pardon? that what you looked up might have been misinformation for... I mm. do think we have enough for one more stream of this. And we may have gone over time unnecessarily. Yeah, I, I had the feeling... I had the feeling something was up with the train. But not that we'd get... with all of that. Maybe I should've, but... Oh well. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be one more stream of this, but when we were approaching the car, I thought, all right, maybe it's this short. But when it, Robotnik came, Eggman, I keep calling it Robotnik by mistake. Yeah, it, 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 he goes by quick, both names. Yeah, but quick Eggman, Robotnik came in play, it became more obvious. 
Yeah, I had a feeling more like they they just rip out the power source and that be that, but apparently no. Okay then, yeah, almost half an hour overtime. Uh, yeah, I really thought we'd be done with this by now. Um, and then again, again, I the one we raided last time we played this game, they finished it in one go. It seemed, but I didn't see how long they went. So it could have been three hours, could have been five hours, could have been seven hours. Yeah, I didn't um, have a cool commentator either. Yeah. Okay, let's look at someone trade. We have Swalbe who is playing Barrow Trauma. Uh, Azra Arcane is doing Arts. Jimmy McGinger is doing Xeno Gears. I'm a flanker with six days, uh, six days in Fallujah. WBPL is set playing Sea of Thieves. Halloween is playing Stalker again. And let's see, some one among the recommended here stands out to me. Lasher Eris, it's uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. All right, and oh, I should say, sorry for getting loud earlier, right? Earlier for, yeah, they were eight hours. They really caught me off guard to read earlier from Mark. Yeah, I, hmm. it's weird why it's, yeah, whoever set that time and how long to beat, maybe just. Speed run, uh, speed speed runs through it or something, which is not how you're supposed to put the times on that. But yeah, yeah hopefully it, we'll finish it next time. Yeah, S speed running a point and click game is kind of pointless. Yeah, well there are speed runs for King's Quest games and such, but yeah. Anyways, uh, who of those sound interesting to you, or shall I pick? Uh. Uh, I, I, I don't know if the creator be is flustered, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know what? Let's take Lazarus. Lash, Lazarus. Uh, it is Lazarus. It I, looks I like. I think I have a. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay, they have. They have a, a PNG avatar above their real life camera with <laughs> with which has Eggman's outfit on. Okay, that would make it extra fitting. Okay. So he did it. Let's read and paste. Alright then. Uh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I thought we would be done with this game. I really expected it to be just short, just one whole stream or two since we did an early with it. Yeah, it looks like we'll get it in hopefully two and a half then. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, rest day, and then Tuesday, we'll continue with Doom. Hopefully without any audio problems this time. I've, re I've just completely removed the previous cable, and we've had no yeah, yeah. issues with this one so far. Yeah, not a single issue. Like, nobody really played in the other game. Maybe they have been once or twice. But it's been flawless so far. Yeah, it, again, it could just be that Doom somehow exaggerates it by just requiring more resources to run. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is just the end of the problem. And if we're going to have it on anything, it's going to be Doom, most likely. Yeah. Mm. Like, actually, have you headset cut off the sound uh, even at all? Uh, since I paired it up with my computer again, only once so far. And then, well, but that was hmm. uh, for, that was only once over quite a few hours that I actually wore it outside of streams as well. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that is is to a minor problem since it doesn't need you to. Yeah, it doesn't mean anyone gets dev or that you need to run and edit the, it out from the videos. No, it just means that I need to turn my Bluetooth on, off and on again and then reset the uh, headset as the audio source. But it's still along with the mic issues that was just really getting under my skin. Oh yeah, those combined oh, yeah. would be damn bloody annoying. Anyways, hopefully we'll have the last of the audio issues and we'll find out the day after tomorrow. Um, I'll, ha I'll have to see if the others would be up for something on Wednesday. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's it's a big maybe. 
Uh, maybe we'll finally have a name for it as well now. <laughs> Though I think we could probably do san we could probably do uh, Sunday evenings as uh, friend quest streams as well, like with Ramco commentating LA Noir and such. Yeah, actually, we did say that once we done the hundred showcase Sunday, uh, we, we could take, take a break. break. Yeah, we could, not certain, but we'll see. It would probably be fitting for, I think, I think around 50 we actually took another break. Or, mm. or was it around 50? No, it might have been more. I know, Not don't sure. know we did take a break from uh, Showcase Sunday. We, yeah, I think, I think it was good. more because of my work, that I had to work some Sundays. Oh yeah, we made just a little plan if we Showcase Sunday a complicated mess. But Pardon? Taking <laughs> is probably good. Yeah, we'll see about that. We could just do it. Uh, we could maybe put showcase Sundays on every other week or so for a bit. But a part of me wants to just keep going. We are we are at K, so we are about halfway ish through everything again. I think uh, I, we still be we've still been skipping some games like. Mostly multiplayer onlys and such, and some that just do not want to work, like a bounce, which was supposed to be on the list today, but it just crashes on startup, and I've seen no fixes for it, or none that worked at least. <clears throat> but yeah, for now we'll have to continue on this. After for now we've continued this on for long enough, so yeah. Thank you all again for watching. Uh, like I said, Tuesday more Doom, Thursday hopefully as well. Uh, if not, if due to still issues, I might just put something in there else in there, just uh, not have to deal with audio stuff. But again, hopefully that won't we won't have to. Um, Wednesday maybe some multiplayer stuff depends on if the others are up for it. Probably Borderlands, maybe something else, and uh, yeah, then next weekend more side quests, more showcase. And we would hopefully finish up with this and start some new things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's for now. Let's start that raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombie seagulls and loose cannons. <laughs> and bad Nick trains. And... Uh... Taking a Steam Dex. Yep. Also dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>